So what I have here is a DLL that I'm going to use to create a 64-bit user-defined function for Interbase. This library has a unit called unit1.pass, and there's a function in that unit that defines a method length of service. So that's going to be exported out of the DLL. And what length of service does is it takes the hire date of an employee in the employee database for Interbase. And it uses an Interbase function to decode the Interbase date into a time and date. Then I use encode date to get the time and date into a Delphi T date object. And then finally, I use the function for years between, between today or now, and that Delphi date. So there's a set of interface units that come with Interbase, which gives you the interface to some of the internal data types inside of Interbase. So I'm using some of those units here, uh, IBX and I, IB externals and IB interfaces. And the reason is that this Interbase date time is its own internal Interbase type date as opposed to a standard SQL date time. Build the code, length of service. I export it in my DLL. I compile it for 64-bit windows. And let's just make sure that it's it's up to date. And then I copy that DLL, which is here, and I copy it to wherever my Interbase 64-bit server is, is running and installed into the UDF directories. Uh, demos, uh, Interbase 64-bit UDF, 164 release. And here's the DLL uh, compiled today, the 20th of December. So let's copy that over to the UDF and replace the one that's there. Then I'll bring up IB console. And I use IB console to install uh, the UDF and make it known to the employee database. The way that's done is by using this syntax to declare an external function, the name of the function, length of service. It takes a date type and it's gonna return an integer and the entry point is the name of the exported function, length underscore of underscore service, from the module name IB demo UDFs DLL, which is over the UDF directory. And so if I expand the employee database inside of uh, IB console and go to the external functions, I'll see this function called length of service. It's in the module IB demo UDF DLL and the function is length underscore service. And I can look at that declare, which same declare that I ran uh, by pasting it into the console application. So now the user defined function is known by the database. And the way I will try it is I will just do a SQL query. It's going to take the employee number and full name and then call the length of service function passing the column higher underscore date. So let's go back and look at IB console and look at the tables, the employee table. And here's the full name, which was computed by the concatenation of first and last name. I've got a higher date, which is this interbase timestamp type. And I'm going to give you back the employee number. And so in here, we've got employees with higher dates. If we bring up our interactive SQL window and for the employee table, say select employee number, full name, and length underscore of underscore service. And we're going to pass it the higher date from employee. We'll run it. And so for each of the employees, now we're going to get the number of years of service from their higher date to today to see which are our longstanding employees. So I'm running Interbase 64 on my Windows 64-bit desktop. Because I have Delphi 64-bit, I can build a 64-bit DLL as a UDF for Interbase 64-bit. I can compile it. I can go and do the declaration of the external function uh, into Interbase and then run SQL queries either from the console or from my applications and use those user-defined functions. So that's how easy it is to build a extension function for Interbase 64 now because of having Delphi 64-bit.